Hey everybody, welcome back to Angina's Creations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble this new template called the Curved Edge Back Topper. This back topper is for a 6x9 cellophane bag. If you want any other size back toppers, just comment down below and if I get enough suggestions, I will make that other size back topper. This template is compatible with Silhouette Studio and Cricut Design Space. The template is available on my website, andrinascreations.com. Again, this back topper is for a 6x9 cellophane bag. Check out all the links in the description box because I'm going to leave down all the links that you will need to make this and where to get the template. Okay, so let's get started. All my templates are color coordinated. I am going to start with version one. I provided two versions. This is going to be version one without the handle. Again, my templates are color coordinated. I started to I started first with the pink base on your template. The pink base is what you're gonna cut out out of solid cardstock, and I do prefer using a hundred pound. You can use 65 pound, but I do prefer. 100 pound cardstock in the description i'm going to leave down which are my favorite cardstocks to use the second piece that you're going to cut out are your teal pieces on the template the teal pieces are you going to cut out a metallic or glitter cardstock if you do not want a layered look the teal pieces you can do a print and cut like i like my pieces layered so my teal pieces i cut out of gold cardstock and then my lavender pieces, that's where I did a print and cut. If you do not have a printer, you can use decorative cardstock for your last layer. And you can even emboss those pieces. The possibilities are endless. Now, you can even add the name to that part that you printed. But I wanted my name to be 3D. To make 3D items are very easy. All I did was I typed a name. I created an offset, several offsets. You can do that in Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio. I'm adding foam tape to each layer to create that 3D effect. And then I'm adding it in front of the back topper. And that's it. If you are going to be using a lot of foam tape, I highly recommend purchasing some non-stick scissors. I will leave that link down below as well. Also, these tweezers are reversible tweezers. As a paper crafter, you need these um, tweezers because when you are doing small pieces, these tweezers stay closed when you have something in them. Like you see, I'm not even holding it closed. It just stays closed. I'll leave the link down below as well directly for these tweezers. They are from TJ's Magic Touch. Okay, so let's start on version number two. This is the one with the handle. It is the same steps. The pink layer on your template is the main base. You're gonna cut that out of your solid color cardstock. Again, I'm using 100 pound. I am then gonna cut out my teal pieces on the template, glue it on top. As you can see here, I'm using metallic cardstock. Actually, this metallic cardstock, I got it from Michaels. If you have a Michaels craft store near you or around you, if you live near one, I highly recommend their 8x11 metallic cardstock. They have a variety of colors. After this um, layer, I'm going to cut out my lavender pieces, which I did a print and cut. I do have an Epson Eco Tank 16600, but when I am printing on glossy paper, I like using my Canon Pro Pixma 200. I'll leave my printers down below as well in the kind of paper that I printed on. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps. Uh, I did a different technique here for the 3D name. I'm not going to be using foam tape. I got this technique again from TJ's Magic Touch. She cuts out a lot of pieces for her cutouts and I love that effect. You don't need no 3D foam tape, but you're going to see how thick it comes out. The technique that she does is that she cuts out multiple pieces of the same piece and glue it on top of each other, which you will see me do here. Now remember, you can add anything you want in these bags. I am going to be putting coloring pages. I have a different tutorial on how to do this. 
you can add anything in here remember these are for a six by nine cellophane bag i'm going to go ahead and add what i'm adding inside so i can know exactly where i want to glue this because i do not want to put my back topper all the way down and you're not able to see what i'm adding inside if that makes any sense now remember the bag closes in the bottom so i leave that opening in the bottom so they do not damage the back topper when they go ahead and open this bag some people prefer to just put the back topper exactly where the bag closes i don't like that so i leave the opening in the bag in the bottom and i put my topper on the top which you will see everything here i will put my items facing the front because i like my bags to close to the back you will see everything in this video i am also using phone i mean sorry i'm also using double-sided tape to put this topper on top if this is going to a child i do not want to staple it because a child could get harmed with staples or get cut i do not want that because i am putting cutting coloring pages inside i do not want the child to get cut if they play around and take this topper off and they get um stabbed or anything with the staples all right now so you're gonna see me here put the coloring pages i did these coloring pages um five by five in width and 8.5 in height just in case you want to do it but i do have a separate video on that all i did was print an image in the front print an image on the back i got these coloring pages from creative fabrica i'll also leave the link down below I put everything inside and I put a four pack of crayons and then I go ahead and put my topper right where I want it to be. Okay, for version two, we are going to repeat the same steps. This Squishmallow characters, I also got it from Creative Fabrica. I got the cellophane bag from Amazon and I got the crayons also from Amazon. Again, remember these pages are 8.5 by 5 by 5. I have a separate tutorial, like I said, creating this. I want the closing of my bag to be in the bottom. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that the image that I want to go in the front because I want the closing of my bag to be in the back. All this makes sense when you see it in the video. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add crayons. You can also add stickers if you are doing coloring packets. Then like you see, I turn it around because I want the closing of my bag on the back. For version 2, because it has a handle, the back of the topper is different here. I do not want to see the bag on the back, if that makes sense when I close this topper up. So I'm going to place this very carefully that I do not see the bag between that handle. As you can see here, you can do it however you want, but I want that handle to be free. I don't want it to have no bag right there. You see where I placed it? So like I said, I did use double-sided tape. I, don't, I do not want to use staples as this is going for kids. You see when I turn around this bag and when I close the topper, you cannot see the bag there. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, once you are done, you can leave it like that or you're going to go ahead and add your 3D name in the front or the H, whatever you want. You can even add a 3D image. You can do whatever you would like. I hope you guys like this quick tutorial. If you would like any other size back toppers, comment down below and I can work on that. I hope everyone's having a blessed day and comment down below any other videos you would like to see from me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share and stay tuned because I do have a different template coming out soon. Bye, y'all.